Hello everyone, Gates is a 32 back here with another deck review. This is the Diamonds in White and Black from Sissy Playing Cards. Uh, a little bit different from one to the other, as you can see. Lots of silver foil. It says Diamonds, and you got a shiny diamond on there. It says, ironically, Diamond Finis on the bottom, and also Limited Edition. And the other one, it doesn't say that, it just says Diamond Finis. And you can see some embossing on there. Very cool, different, and also the silver foil. Onto the side, it's just a diamond and foil. And a little artwork, same with the other side, same at the top. And in the bottom, the Sisu logo and silver foil, double S. And it says designed by Alvin Tang, Sisu Playing Cards, Sisu Playing Cards.com, printed in Taiwan by Legends Playing Card Company. <coughs> And in the back, you see the bad design, which is pretty cool. No seals. On the flap, a little shiny diamond. Now, first of all, for the Jokers, you get this one, which has Joker on it, and it's got a diamond on there. And then you get this one. Which, oh no, the diamond's gone. <laughs> and it says Joker again on the bottom. So it's a nice little kind of a gaff. <clears throat> the back design. Apparently the backs and the faces have silver and gold metallic inks. Well, I think it's a little bit hard to tell, but at least it's the gold. Yeah, you can see it there. It's just that it's not all the gold, just certain little details. Pretty cool. Ace of Spades has a diamond within the pip. It says diamonds, says you're playing cards. Very nice uh, borders and indexes that they have. You can see they have a gold border on all the pips as well. <clears throat> the other ace is a little more standard, but they got bigger pips than usual. Court cards, <clears throat> fairly standard, just gold colors. I'll show you them quickly. And then a number of cards. Very nice. And that is that. So you get one momentarily, the black one. Anyway, put the bar legends on a diamond finish with metallic inks. Let's show you the black one. Same thing with the flaps. This one, same thing with the faces, except you get gold borders, a lot more gold. Same back design, same metallic kinks, and of course the pips on spades and clubs are white. But for the most part, it's the same thing, same jokers. A little bit hard to see some of the details on a joker, I think. But anyway, that's a minor thing. <clears throat> so that is that. As far as the back design is concerned, I would say probably four and three quarters out of five. It's not my favorite backs, but it's a nice back design still, nonetheless. Um, <clears throat> faces, again, I'd probably say four and three quarters out of five. Maybe five out of five. It's I would say five out of five for the faces. <clears throat> Handling wise, it, like I said, printed by Legends, with a diamond finish, it seems to be clumping a tiny, tiny bit. Maybe it's just me and my handle is screwed up. Yeah, that's better. 
I'll say four and three quarters out of five for handling. Just pretty standard for me to see. Um, that is that. Overall, I'm probably a five out of five. It's a good deck. I like it. You can get these from my sponsors, collectiblepointcards.com, pointcards.net. And you can also check out cardporn.com, links and discount codes down there in the description box. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe.